Welcome to Easy Street Gaming, everybody. This is Easy. Today we're doing a, a different video from the partner guide. We're going to go over the guide to gathering. Uh, we're going to go over how abilities and runes increase gathering. This is kind of part two. We, we had a, a video, Research Made Easy, about, I don't know, about a month ago. Uh, you can find it on Easy Street Gaming on the YouTube channel. It's going to start off kind of... For beginners but then we're gonna I, I've just learned some new stuff that's why I want to make the video so it's gonna go right into some of the more detailed stuff this game has so many layers to it that we're gonna start off with just the basic so probably the most valuable resource is gonna be mana they look like little turtles second most will be ivory the, they, they're the uh, mammoth third and fourth they're probably just about the same. Right there you see the tree man. Right here you see a giant. They are the stone and wood. Then the most common will be the boar. And that's meat. If you gather within the lines of your horde. You'll get a bonus as far as the collections. If you're outside the line. You can actually get killed. When someone hunts you instead of just going to the hospital. And if you, if you notice here. I have every one of my marches gathering. That's something you want to do as soon as you come on every time you want to immediately get everyone gathering right away You want to be gathering as much as possible That's the first thing that I do when I come on and the last thing that I'll do before I go offline If I'm not hiding my troops Then I am sending them all out to collections and that's just all going to depend uh, on what server I'm on and what's going on Certain servers you have to hide your troops every time but on peaceful servers you can actually go out collecting when you go offline now this screen right here is the ability screen you can find this screen if you've never seen it before Then you can find the screen by clicking on your Facebook icon in the upper left hand part of your screen Or it will be one of the brutal age characters uh, One of the cartoon pictures of the face click on it And then you click on the ability and then you'll come to the, this screen right here when you first start out Most people will go 50 and 50 you'll, you'll start gaining talent points every single time you get the experience to go up a level You'll start off by getting like three at a time then four then five and most of the time everyone splits it. They'll put some on combat. They'll, they'll add some to growth and they'll kind of grow both sides 50-50 Well, once you get two, you'll, you'll start off with just one so you can only put it on one of the you can you only have one ability screen But then pretty soon you'll have two then three then four once you get two you want to actually go back and change Your ability screen and you want to make one ability screen all combat and one ability screen all growth and then you, what you'll do is you'll switch back and forth depending on what kind of, uh, uh, depending on what you're doing. Then just as you think you're doing everything right and you're switching back and forth and you go to war and you'll switch your talent page to combat. And then you're going to upgrade a building or if you're going to do a big, big upgrade in research, you'll switch over to growth. But then you will realize that there's a third thing you can do. And the third thing you can do is set up a third talent page. In the third talent page, you will focus all on production and collecting. And it's this is not something you have to do, but this is something that certain players have been doing, and I've noticed that they can do, they can donate so much, so many resources. They just they're constantly getting a lot of resources, and it's because they have maximized the amount they can collect and the the amount their base can produce because they have changed their ability page and now what they have to sacrifice is they're going to have to spend gems to switch back and forth so if you decide that you're going to make the third page for collections then you're going to have to make a gem sacrifice I, personally I probably go through I don't know 10,000 gems a week and for me to sacrifice 200 two or three times a week or four times a week it's not really a big deal for me if you're the type of person that's that's getting 500 gems a week, maybe this isn't for you. But I'm here to tell you that the difference that I've seen in collections with my ability page changed. And also, we're going to also show you how to do the runes as well. It makes a huge difference. So you can set up the third page. Now what I've done is I've gone and I have reset my third page. And I'm, I'm now going to set it up again. And I'm going to focus on gathering and, and and production so instead of having all of the uh, talent points on research and on building upgrades which is what it was on so so basically this is quickly recap I have three different pages that I use now 
One page is all combat. I use that when we have server war, barbarian war. One page is all growth, but it, but the main focus is all on research and building upgrade. Now the third talent page, the focus is on collection and production. So I'm going to try to get as, as many talent points on, on gathering or collection as possible. And by doing this, yes, I have to switch back and forth. Now, I, I think here, um, I'm, I'm looking at the difference. And I was at like 15% bonus on gathering. And now my, my bonus is at 47% on wood, 89 on stone and ivory, meats 133. So it's a huge difference by changing the talent page. So you... You'll you'll have to switch. I'll say it again. You have to switch back and forth on your talent pages So it's another another habit you have to get into and, and I'll show you exactly what I mean at, towards the end of the video I actually went through the whole process of switching It's not that big of a deal The only issue that anyone is going to actually have is that sometimes you have to pay a few gems to switch back and forth but it is well worth it if the re the, the increase that you'll get in your resources is is tremendous so there are three main well now we're going to go into the runes there are three main setups that you want for your runes for research you want fine pottery if you can't get fine pottery yet just keep on collecting runes till you can get it you, you'll you'll get it by the time you get usually you'll, you can get it by the time you get your second talent page um, fine pottery will give you the biggest percentage increase on uh, on research now this is what I was talking about I want to I want to go hunting or I want to go uh, collecting so I clicked on the boar right now I'm in fine pottery for uh, for a research upgrade so what I'll do is I'll switch from fine pottery and I have what's called competent guard now you may want one that's different and I'll tell you where to get that in a second so I switched over to competent guard and now my my per, my percentage for gathering has increased much more now, if you saw earlier, it it had all my per percentages in the 80s. Now my percentages are way up over the hundreds for for all of these uh, for all the collections. So for your building upgrades, just real quick, you want to you, you want to use white oak. You'll get that by your second talent page too. And and also keep in mind that when you're collecting, if you're collecting inside your designated area. You, you will get a bonus in your troops if someone decides that they want to try to kill you while you're collecting which is mean But some people do it um, You'll actually your troops will go to the hospital instead of getting killed And now this one here is outside And so what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna use the t4 troops I'm gonna go back down and, and use t1 warriors as many as I can and I use the t1 troops anytime I, that I'm in a neutral area because those troops can die if someone attacks me now if you check the recon which is up in the upper left hand corner in the rune page it will have a giant list of everything you can scroll through and find exactly what rune like calibration you want to use so use that every single time you want to go collecting and, and put in the exact um, rune configuration that you need so running out of time try to build a third ability page try to include instead of just having uh, an ability page for war and one for your research and building upgrades try to have one for collecting collecting as well it will you'll really see a big increase in your collections hope the video helps somebody i appreciate everyone for watching until next time it's been easy take care everybody